Hi! It is Saturday the 20th of March today and as you can see I bought myself a lot of Taylor skincare. Now Taylor is a New Zealand brand, it's New Zealand made as well. I've heard amazing things about them. I'm trying to keep them all on my lap and it's very hard. <laughs> So Taylor Skincare is New Zealand made, New Zealand owned, and it's very environmentally friendly. They use ingredients that are sourced from New Zealand, at least to my best knowledge they do. Yes, they do. These packages in particular, these are home compostable, these nice stylish little grey ones here. So as you can see, I bought a whole bunch of them. I actually bought these at Christmas. It's just I wanted to make sure that I could use all of these at the same time so I can actually show you how it works. So I filmed earlier today what my skin is like, and then we'll talk about this massive bundle that I bought from them. If the whole camera shakes, there is a kitty cat lying in the sun with her paw on the tripod leg. There we go. Um, so I do apologize, but today is Saturday the 20th of March. So let's have a look at my skin right now. So as you can see from that footage, I've got large pores. My skin is oily. I have, uh, pores that get blocked. I get some redness around here as well. I've got some acne scars and also my acne scars aren't just the pigmented kind, they're also the pocked kind. Um, so <laughs> basically my skin is problematic. Did I just get lipstick all over me? Who knows, maybe I did. So let's have a look at the products I bought because they had like 20% off at Christmas time off of their bundles and I just really wanted to try them out because you know we are trying to support local where we can. If something works well for my skin, then it's probably going to work really well for others because as I just said, my skin is problematic. Also, I'm 31, so I'm starting to get wrinkles. Love it. Um, it's okay though, we talked all about that issue in my ageism video and why we shouldn't need to worry about that so much. So I got the cleanser makeup remover, so this is the oil cleanse. I also bought the Probiotic Facial Serum, which is 3% probiotic lysate and antioxidant grape seed extract. The Exfoliating Scrub and Detox Mask. Now for me personally, I really really do like chemical exfoliants as opposed to like the physical ones, but I really was still interested to see how this works. It's got New Zealand um, bentonite clay, coconut glycerin, and wintergreen extract and pumice powder. Um, so this can be used as a mask, scrub, and spot treatment. Uh, I still get spots, so another issue I deal with. This is gold dust. Now this is the one that is like the most highly raved about. It's the Visibly Reduced Scarring and Brightening Serum. So this is 99.5% natural vitamin C in CoQ10. So I'm so sorry Pixie, that just fell straight out of there. Pixie's asleep right here and she got a heckin' fright. So this is vitamin C in a powder form because you need to actually activate it. This means that the vitamin C stays active in here because it's not um, in a liquid form which means it destabilizes. Um, so they've worked their way around the vitamin C problem. Um, I also got their morning and night facial moisturizer. With my oily skin I'm keen to see how this goes. And what else? That's it. I think that's all six of them, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so let's get into a bit of B-roll. Let's get into me using this and uh, I'll try it out for a couple of months and let's check in. It is Saturday the 10th of April, so now this officially marks two weeks I've been using these products. And I just left this on overnight. Um, let's actually just do a quick skin check-in. This little thing right here is still there. It's been there for over two weeks now, but it hasn't come out, it hasn't grown. Who knows what its journey is in life, but it's quite frustrating. But with the gold dust, I actually just mixed the tiniest pinch with the moisture, and it just worked out really, really well. It wasn't like too grainy, because the first time I used it, I used like effectively a double pinch and that was definitely too much and like trying to sleep with that was quite uncomfortable but like using an actual pinch um like it was still a little bit grainy on my skin but no issues i'm still really enjoying all of the products honestly i still just don't like the smell of the oil it's just the oil cleanser i'm still there's something about the smell of it that just doesn't like vibe with me. We're just on different vibe wavelengths and I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, I'm just still keen to keep going but I wanted to give you my two week skin check in. It is now the 22nd of May so let's have a look at how this is working. So what I've been doing is every single week I've been wearing the vitamin C mask as well and I wear that overnight. I wore it overnight last night. Oh 
I don't know if any difference has happened to my skin. But anyway, this is the update. So we're actually closing in on using these products for two whole months. So yeah. It is now Thursday the 10th of June and so I wanted to show you how my face looks after two whole months. I haven't properly washed my face or anything this morning and yes, I've picked at my face because I've been a bit anxious recently and so totally worth getting rid of that blackhead in case you're wondering. Anyway, let's see the before and now and see if we can compare anything. Personally, I haven't really noticed any difference with my pigmentation going down or anything to do with the skin texture or anything to do with my pores not getting clogged anymore. Let's just get on to my four final thoughts. So as I mentioned before, today is the 10th of June, so I've been using this stuff for about two months now. And I had a quick look at the footage from earlier. I can't really see any difference in my skin, but I still want to go over like the products and what I think of them to, like with you so then you can see like my final thoughts because I'd like to have a long time assessing things properly. If you're wondering what's up with my face, I'm about to do a bit of a photo shoot, so... You're welcome for the glitter. <laughs> so let's start off with the first thing that you use. This is the oil cleanse. Now I have gotten down, maybe you can see that level in here. I've only gotten down to that much and I wear makeup about five days a week. So that's actually very impressive considering. So it hasn't gone down very much. I'm still not the keenest on the smell. It's just, it's not really for me and that's okay. It does work well as a makeup remover though, so that's the thing it's meant to do, that's what it does do. And it's lasted very well, I'll probably still be able to get like, I don't know, another few months out of this, like easily, like five even. This is the second thing that I use. This is the Renew Probiotic Serum and it's got about that much left. Like it's really challenging actually getting anything out of this bottle. It's it's nice. I haven't seen any great benefits from using the probiotic serum. It's meant to visibly reduce redness, breakouts, and sun damage, and boost skin renewal and resilience. I've still been getting the same amount of breakouts, or breakouts as you call them. I still get, like, redness show up. I, I personally haven't really seen any much of a difference, and I've basically used the whole bottle. Use it morning and night. So, but if I've gone through an entire product and I'm not blown away by it, I will not be repurchasing it. The moisturizer. It's a nice moisturizer. I have oily skin and this does not make my makeup separate anymore. How do I feel about it in comparison to my Raw Canvas one? I personally prefer the Raw Canvas one just because it's a little bit more mattifying for makeup. But this is a very good one. I've even got my husband using it. This has gone down to about this level over the past couple of months. Use this again morning and night. Sometimes at night time I actually do two pumps because I like to really cover my decolletage, so to speak. It's a good product. If you have like normal skin, I think that this would be really good for you. I don't find it too greasy. It sinks in well. I just, overall I'm enjoying it. The exfoliating scrub and detox mask. So I only use this once a week and it's quite nice to just be able to like slough off like any like dead skin and stuff. But it's like, I'm not really that much of a fan of physical exfoliants. I do like the clay in it though, like I've used this overnight on spots. Hasn't made them disappear or anything, but um, it's pretty good. I'm not the biggest person for this stuff, you know. If you can hear noises, Pixie is currently playing with the blinds. So. <laughs> I think that this is nice, like I said, because of the clay in it, it is quite nice to use. It's like a bit of a treatment on your skin as well. Pixie. As you can see, I have not used much of it. <laughs> it's really barely gone down at all. The vitamin C, I don't think I ever actually showed you how this looks inside. You can still see it's got the little sachet in it. I don't like to take that out. I've still been using this once a week. It's still a bit grainy when I wear it because like you're meant to wear this overnight and it still feels a little bit grainy on the skin and if you sleep on your back, you'll be okay. But if you sleep on the side like I do, then you might get it in your hair or on your pillow. Um, so it's like I wake up in the morning and it's like I find like the grains down this area but not really around here and I'm like, oh, they must be in my hair. <laughs> so yeah, like 
like I said, you can see from the results from using this literally every single week. I haven't been using it more than that because like you're only meant to, like this is concentrated vitamin C. So I will continue to use it. Obviously at my end of year, like I'll let you know like exactly what I think of it all. It's been good, but I personally, because my skin is quite problematic, I haven't seen any amazing benefits from it. So as an executive assistant, I do still have to travel. And one thing that I definitely found is um, traveling with glass bottles gives me major anxiety because it's like, even if they're in carry-on or if you're packing them into your luggage, it's like, oh my God, this is going to just shatter everywhere. I know that we're not meant to like plastic, blah, 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 blah. Like fully get that. It's just been challenging making sure that they stay in place <laughs> and stay in one piece. So it's like, I whilst I do like the products, I'm still like, oh. it's good if you do not travel much to have like bigger products like this. When you're traveling, you want to have smaller versions. I think that they do smaller versions, but like I don't really like to decant into other things because then you have to really sterilize those other things. And it's just, it's a, it's just a mission in life. I'm just not really here for. So yeah, just around travel, it's like, don't break. Oh my god, this really freaks me out. So yes, overall thoughts. Um, for me, because my skin is so problematic, like I said, large pores, I still have acne scarring, I have breakouts still, and it's like, when you're dealing with all of that stuff as well as hyperpigmentation, it's like, I need products which are more targeted. So for me personally, this isn't quite powerful enough for me, but that's absolutely okay. If you have more standard skin, I not that that's ever really a normal, but you know what I mean? If it's like normal to combination, I think that this will work really well for you. Same as if you have dry skin. It's just for me personally, my skin is annoyingly high maintenance to make any difference to. So I personally will probably not be really repurchasing much of this. It makes me feel very sad because I really wanted to like love this brand. But like I said, I... I need my niacinamide, I need my AHA, BHA, I need that like more intense stuff <laughs> for my skin just because my skin sucks so much. So those are my final thoughts. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it all the way to the end, oh I think this one with a hair and a towel. Let's put that one just there in the comments if you made it all the way to the end. And I will see you lovelies on Tuesday for another more deep dive video. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye. How am I gonna do the thumbnail? How are we doing the thumbnail? Who knows? It's all very scary because my battery's about to go.